In this video, we're going to be taking a look at using Vocaline Project 5 with Universal Audio's Luna recording system. Quick side note, in order to use this workflow, you need to be running Luna version 1.2.2.2310 at a minimum. That being said, let's get started. So first thing to mention is that although we're using Vocaline Project 5 in this video, the same concept and workflow will apply for Vocaline Ultra as well. Let's have a listen to the track that we'll be working with. We've got a lead vocal as well as a lead vocal double. Let's have a listen. Giving you the green light, sending out an SOS to you. Baby, can you see me? Running, running now. Gonna hit you like a wrecking ball. Pick you off the ground whenever you fall out to. You'll never see me coming. For the most part, it's not bad, but there's a couple areas. Specifically, I hear two parts. If we listen to this section, Baby, can you see me? I'd like to have that tightened up a little bit. And also at the very end, you'll notice that there's actually a different sustain on the vocal double versus the lead guide. Come in. So I'd like to get those tightened up as well. And then last but not least, you can see that in the vocal double, which is essentially a unison track, the singer opted to not sing the same phrase over here. So if we listen to the lead guide, Yeah, I, I never felt this way. Versus the double. Never felt this way. So let's get this fixed up. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to select the lead vocal double. Let's head over to the first insert slot, and I'm just gonna type in VOC, and you can see that the search function automatically filters things out. Let's load Vocaline Project 5 AU. All right, so we have our Vocaline Project 5 plugin. The first thing I'm going to do is, in order for Vocaline Project 5 to do this processing, it needs to have access to the guide track, and the way that it does this is by using the sidechain input. So the easiest way to assign this in Luna is selecting the sidechain assigned directly from within the plugin GUI. So I'm going to select this, and this opens up the contextual track menu over here. Let's click Lead Vocal, and now this has automatically been assigned. Now, the next thing we need to do is I'm gonna make a selection of the amount of audio that I essentially want Vocaline to ingest. And what's going to happen is it's going to record the side chain from the lead vocal. And in addition to that, it's also going to bring in the dub. So let's capture arm this. And now just a matter of clicking play. I'm gonna make sure that my loop is turned off and let's go ahead and transfer this audio into the plugin. Giving you the green light, sending out an SOS to you. Baby, can you see me? Running, running now. Gonna hit you like a wrecking ball. Pick you off the ground whenever you fall out to. You'll never see me coming. Yeah, I, I never felt this way. Never felt so good. Okay, excellent. So now that that's done, notice that Vocaline is rendering a new output. So let's have a quick look at this GUI and explain what's what. The blue audio waveform that we see here is the external sidechain that was recorded into Vocaline. Now the orange waveform would be the dub track, which in essence is a lead vocal double, the track that we have Vocaline project instantiated on. And then what we end up seeing here is we have this blue outline, which indicates the guide's timing. And then we have this yellow rendered waveform, which indicates the dub that has been re-timed according to whatever we have Vocaline project set to. This is going to use the last used preset or the last used settings that you used as the initial processing point. But if you wanted to choose something different, it's easy to go into the preset menu. And for example, we could choose tight timing. Now this is going to give us a max difference of zero milliseconds in terms of the alignment tightness. Also worth noting, Smart Align is a new technology that was added in Vocaline Project 5. And for the most part, this is always worth leaving set to on. All right, so now that this is done, that's it. That's all there is to it. These vocals have been aligned. So let's have a listen to the before and then we'll play the after. Giving you the green light, sending out an SOS to you. Baby, can you see me? So there was the first problem area. Now let's activate Vocaline Project. Giving you the green light, sending out an SOS to you. Baby, can you see me? Running, running now. Gonna hit you like a wrecking ball. So we can hear that that problem is completely gone. Now let's listen to this last section over here. You'll never see me coming. With Vocaline activated, 
You'll never see me coming. Yeah, I, I never felt this way. Never felt so good. All right, so Vocaline has done an amazing job in terms of aligning those sections that were out. Now, with respect to settings, this is really a matter of personal taste. If I was working with something that was recorded with the same vocalist on the same day, same microphone, and same preamp selection, then I might actually opt to back off of the tightness a little bit. So maybe something more along the lines of five milliseconds or 10 milliseconds, but this is completely personal choice. For sake of demonstration, I'm gonna leave this set to zero. So let's talk about one other thing really quickly. I'm gonna close the GUI for a moment. And let's take a look at what's happening in this session. I have a very basic session set up. I've got a reverb and a delay with uh, just a little bit of side chain to the dry lead vocal. This is pretty common for a scenario where I'm recording or editing. And as you can see, I also have a basic optical compressor that's just in line to keep things leveled out because these vocals have quite a difference between the louder and the softer parts. When we talk about things such as vocal line, which is changing the timing, it's often really beneficial to actually render these changes into the audio file, but we need to be mindful of our signal chain and what's happening downstream and upstream from vocal line. So with this in mind, what I'd like to do is actually render this region as a completely new clip that I can bring in on a separate layer. So this is what we're gonna tackle next. Now, first things first, like I said, we need to be mindful of what's happening. If I'm bringing this back in on the same track and I'm not yet 100% committed to the processing going through this compressor over here, for the meantime, I'm just gonna deactivate this. And now what I wanna do is just kind of define a range in terms of what I want to export and then we're gonna use the file export and we're gonna use the mix down options. Directly from within here, we have this option to preserve mono tracks. And this is really important because essentially we want this audio clip to come back in without any gain adjustments or panning. So I'm going to enable this and the file type, sample rate and bit depth, let's leave these set as is, which matches my actual session. If you click the main option, we have the ability to have a little bit more flexibility in terms of what we choose. I don't wanna export a full stereo mix down, so let's deselect main and let's select lead vocal double. I'm going to click done and then this has automatically created this file name over here. I don't need the prefix on this, so let's go ahead and delete that. And what I'd like to do is give myself some type of information. So for example, I could go underscore zero milliseconds alignment. And then all we need to do at this point is quite simply hit the mix down. Now that we've done this mix down, you can see that I automatically have a finder window that's been opened. I'm gonna just drag this off to the side for a moment. I'm going to drag my track header out to just expand my layer controls. And I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna double click this and I'm going to just call this aligned. Now what we can do is hop back over to our finder window. Let's drag back in this file right into this section over here. And now we have our original file and then we have our aligned version. Because we have this and it's been aligned, we no longer need to be listening to the vocal line plugin. I'm actually going to deactivate this and reactivate my compressor. And let's listen to everything in context. So I'm gonna unmute my instrumental track and let's bring in our effects. And really quickly before we do that, let's do a before and after. So before I'm gonna switch back to my original version, Giving you the green light, sending out an SOS to you, baby, can you see me, running, running now, gonna hit you like a wrecking ball, pick you off the ground whenever you fall out do. you'll never see me coming, yeah. And after. Giving you the green light, sending out an SOS to you, baby. Can you see me running, running now? Gonna eat you like a wrecking ball Pick you off the ground whenever you fall out to You'll never see me coming I, I never felt this way Never felt so good So that's using Vocaline Project 5 with Universal Audio's Luna recording system. For more information, be sure to check out our YouTube channel and Vimeo or head to SyncerArts.com. Catch you in the next one.